Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It's great to have you here. We're working on a medieval knight shield, part three today. Last time we cut out the shape using my new jigsaw. And before I started recording today, I used the rasp to smoothen off the corners, the points on the top. Uh, the battens on the ends, I've just taken them down so they fit uh, meet flush to the edge. And the blocks here that hold these two together because this batten isn't quite long enough. I have, as you see, taken the corner off there, smoothed things out to make it a little bit more comfortable to hold and also to enable us to put the steel rim on, which is the first thing that we're going to start doing today. Before we get into that, though, I do think we need to have a bit of a serious talk about addiction. It's a problem that affects millions of people around the world, destroying happiness and livelihoods. And I'm aware that I don't show you lot much of my personal life. Uh, off camera, I'm really quite private. But the best way to deal with these problems, of course, is for them to be talked about. You know, get it out in the open, uh, clear the air, make sure everybody knows exactly what's happening, and then get on with our lives and hopefully make some improvements. Positive changes so that we can all feel happier and healthier. So although it is quite hard and embarrassing for me to say, I'm going to do my best to gather up my courage and just come right out and say to you guys something I probably should have said quite a long time ago. My name is Chris Jacobs and I'm addicted to tools. I know, I know exactly what you're thinking. Chris, you've got so many tools already. How can you have an addiction, man? You know, what more could you possibly want? First the chop saw, then the jigsaw. Your capabilities are getting bigger and bigger. How can you need more? But what I think some people struggle to understand, and don't think I'm making excuses here, is that uh, every job I need to do, there's always a tool I need. One of the greatest joys for me is making things. That's why I started the channel in the first place. And to do that, I need all these tools in order for me to make all this, this stuff. Uh, it brings me happiness, and part of that happiness is hoarding all the tools and using them. And that's why I'm not ashamed to say, I'm proud to say that I've got yet another tool, and it's going to be so awesome. It's going to allow me to do so much more stuff. My capability is not like this. Um, let me introduce it to you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's hard for me to tell you just how happy I am uh, that I've now got an angle grinder. For those of you who don't know, this is a cutting and grinding tool on steroids. It's ridiculously loud, ridiculously powerful, ridiculously dangerous. Definitely another way for me to get myself killed. But, oh my god, it's so awesome. Uh, yeah, the capabilities are just through the roof now. This is actually my dad's. I think he used it once to cut some paving slabs and then never used it again because the sort of stuff that he does really doesn't involve uh, needing an angle grinder. Uh, but for me, for the shield project, um, rust removal and lots of other things that I won't tell you quite yet because obviously they're all future videos that need to be kept secret, um, this would, is just going to be invaluable. He very kindly gave it to me free of charge. Um, it's my 18th birthday, not a million miles away, and mum and dad were thinking of getting me an angle grinder as a present, um, but to, because this one was in the shed doing nothing, I was happy to have this one, um, and then they can spend that money on something else for me, rather than getting a brand new one. I'm going to need this in the shield project for cutting the steel to make the steel rim around the edge of the shield. Um, our old oven broke at home quite a while ago now, um, and it was covered in this thin stainless steel siding. Uh, we've since got a new oven and the old oven has gone to the tip, um, but before it went I took off two panels and so I now have this thin sheet steel. I can make a noise like thunder um, and I think it's going to be just right to go around the edge of uh, the shield. Now obviously it's very thin and I used a little bit of it to make these braces for this broom. The handle broke. Um, I fixed it and put these braces on it to make it that much stronger. Um, so I needed to cut off two strips of steel of this steel. Now doing that with a hacksaw was nigh on impossible because it was wobbling all over the place. I ran out of depth very quickly um, and it left me a lovely jagged edge. So the best thing for me to cut this with is going to be this because I will be able to do a clean cut. Uh, I can go all the way down nice and straight um, and make lots of cuts, which obviously I'm going to have to do because we've got to go all the way around that shell. I'm looking around for it it's behind me. We're going to have to go all the way around the edge of this. So I'm going to need quite a lot of strips of this. So the angle grinder is going to hopefully make that much easier. So enough of me rambling. Like and subscribe before we get going. Let's crack on and get some work done with my new tool, which I absolutely love. 
Oh, I've got an angle grinder, man. I've got an angle grinder. Yes. Forgot to mention as well that Matt's not here today. I'm on my own, just to let you know. Bastard. Ooh, that was so much fun and just look how easy it cut through that. Right, um, I'll just show you quickly that I need to be cutting strips, which are the width of the shield boards and then probably half an inch to an inch on either side. So I'll measure that in a second and we'll be cutting strips that wide to go all the way around. Um, uh, I'll cut one, I think, and then, hopefully I'm in shot here, um, I'll cut one, and then I'll show you how we're going to form it around the edge. Okay, shield boards, accounting for that much on the outside, hopefully you can see. The width of the board and a bit on the inside are precisely, take measure, Two and three quarter inches l uh, wide. That's how wide the strips we need. Steel does need a bit of secondary processing when I've cut it, because obviously the uh, cutting disc leaves a very sharp edge. I've yet to get a flat disc, which is good for removing burrs and rust and things like that. Um, so for now, uh, a file will work just fine. run along those edges and knock all the sharp bits off so we don't go slashing any fingers off. The other thing I'm going to do is turn my bench vise into a leg vise um, and use it as an anvil. Probably, well, definitely uh, wrong tool for the job. Um, the steel has, hopefully you can see there, uh, machined um, a bend in it from where it was conformed to the oven. Um, I need that to be flat so I'm going to then, if we turn our attention back to the shield, with our two and three quarter inch strip, I can conform this very easily round the shape of the edge like that, but to get this to fold over the edge, I'm gonna to have to mark on the steel with the Sharpie again, um, probably find some sort of chisel, which actually I do have, I was worried there for a second before I started recording, I thought, oh, hang on, have I got a chisel? Yes, I've got a chisel that will do this. Um, I'm going to mark on the width of the board to make it easy for me to put some bends because I can't bend it with my hands because the steel's too thick. Um, bend the steel in two places, 90 degrees to fit round the edge. And then we will have to start putting slits in it like this. Hopefully you can see there. In fact, I could draw them on, couldn't I? We're going to have to start making slits like this because if we try and bend the steel this way, it will do that quite happily. But if I then try and bend a third of it down like this, it's gonna, because of it being curved, it's gonna smash into each other or it's not gonna bend. So I need to be able to put some slits in it and then overlap the sort of flaps that I leave behind like this. They'll overlap into each other, across each other's uh, path um, and allow it to conform to the edge of the shield. Then it will just be a case of drilling the holes and nailing it on, hopefully. I don't know, I've not done a shield before. That's why I say it's extending my capabilities as a craftsman. It would be helpful if I drew this on the correct side. Damn it!
gonna take some time. Be right back. Small like it. Right, I've made my uh, little bit of C channel, which is coming along very nice. I'm very pleased with how that went. Uh, if I try and put it on the shield now, it fits lovely. However, you can see, hopefully, maybe you can see a bit more of an angle. Yeah, I think that's better. Um, if I now try and bend this round like I did before, just a minute ago, it uh, formed around like a bit of spaghetti. Now, it wants to bend, but it's going to start deforming my sidewalls. So that's where I'm going to need to put those slits in it. Probably going to be quickest with the grinder, and of course, why not use the angle grinder? Because I've got an angle grinder. I'm so happy about the angle grinder. If you can't tell, I really like my angle grinder. Um, concentrate. We're going to put a slit in here and see how it bends. Probably make a load more slits and hopefully get this first bit on. And looking at the length of that, I reckon that's going to be another one, two, mm, I reckon four or five lengths like this to go all the way around. Um, a lot of grinding, a lot of bending, um, a lot of drilling, um, and a lot of nailing at the end, but that's all the fun of it. Hopefully you can see there now what I mean about the flaps overlapping each other. Where I've made that slit allows the steel to bend and conform, get on there, conform to the curve of the shield. I need to make another one here. Um, and lots more as I go round uh, and get that nice curve. Going well, really happy so far. Okay, I'm making good progress. Um, we've got it pretty much conformed around to the edge, lovely now. Um, so I'll show you the drill, I'll show you uh, drilling the holes in it um, and nailing it on. It's not gonna be much special. I have bought a couple of new drill bits just for this project because um, not sure as my other general purpose or metal and plastic and all that um, drill bits are very sharp because then they were never mine um, from new. Um, so I brought these brand new ones so I know that they're gonna be sharp and hopefully go through this steel nice and easy. Um, then I'm just gonna be using roof, like felt roofing tacks to go through the holes into the wood and hold that rim on there. time-lapse okay I've done all of that first strip nailed it on it's actually held on really tight and the shield feels really good with it on uh, it's really starting to look the part as well Ooh, falling over. <laughs> I need a bigger workshop man I've not got the space now I'm tripping over everything um, anyway I forgot what I was going to say. Um, I've put the rim on and it's really starting to look, the outline there is really starting to, to pop. It's uh, making the whole thing look just absolutely amazing. Um, so yes, all I'm going to do now is more of the same. Cut more strips of steel, bend them, drill them, conform it round, nail it on. Um, and then I think I'll try and get back to you once I've done all of that today and then finish this video up because it's probably getting quite long. Well ladies and gents, I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with this. Um, I'm so happy with the rim and how it's turned out. The whole thing feels absolutely solid. Um, the weight is really starting to add up. Like I said, it's probably added a, a good few grams. Um, I don't know, what does this weigh in total? It's hard to tell because nothing ready to grab hold of it. Um, you know, there's no handle on it or anything yet, but at least a couple kilos, it's certainly getting some heft to it. It feels very durable, very strong, very battle ready, which is just what we want. 
Um, so yes, I think that's going to be all for this video. I put that steel rim on. I'm steel rim on. I'm really happy with it. Um, the process went just as it did in my head, which is always good to know. Like I said, building my skills as a craftsman, it's good that what I plan in my head, I can actually execute successfully. So next video is going to be straps. I'm uh, get my arms strapped on there nice and tight. Um, I'm really happy with this product. I'm really enjoying it. I hope you are too. Like I said at the start of the video, like and subscribe. We're nearly at 100. Um, hopefully it'll be really cool to cross 100 with, uh, with this shield project. So yes, like and subscribe. Share the video. I'll see you next time. Uh, oh, it's so good. Yeah, man. Love it.